Morning is tea. How are ye? We are Candlelit Tales. Tales. And what do we do? Well, we tell stories. And today we're telling stories just for kids. What kind of stories? Irish myths and folklore. And we love to play music and sounds to go along with them. Where can you find us? Ooh, well, you can find us on YouTube. So subscribe to the channel, leave a comment or review or share it with someone. And you can follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Hashtag Candlelit Tales for Kids. If there's any big people around who want to support us, well, they can become a patron by going to patreon.com forward slash candlelit tales for kids. Well, so what is today's story? Today's story is Fionn, the Salmon and the Dragon. Mm. Well, make sure you watch till the very end of the video so that you can find out today's mythical fun fact. Take it away, Aaron. You go. By the shores of a fast flowing river, a young boy sat down and watched as the water raced past him. He held on to a fishing rod and looked sadly at the line which sank low into the water flowing past. He sat there because he was helping out an old wise man to try and catch a particular type of fish. You see, this fish wasn't an ordinary type of fish. It was the Salmon of Knowledge. Young Fionn was trying to help an old man named Finnegus to catch this fish. But he had spent seven long years at the edge of the River Boyne trying to catch this fish. And he was no more able to. Until this young boy, Fionn, came along to try and help him. As Fionn sat there, he began to dream about his youth, about growing up in the Sleeve Bloom Mountains with his two aunts who taught him all the things he would need to know to grow into a fine, flourishing warrior. He was trained to watch the animals in the forest, the clever, cunning, crafty fox who waited for nightfall to creep out and catch his food, the flying birds overhead, the strong leading the way, breaking the wind, the weak and weary ones lagging behind. But they would swap and take their place up front when full of energy. The salmon who battled up the river, always fighting a heavy current, the bees and ants that worked together, and the clever moles who burrowed down deep below into the ground to sleep soundly leaving long winters pass them by in warm bliss. He remembered all of this, his training with his two aunts to be a great warrior, playing hurling, fighting with spears, learning how to use a sword and shield, and learning all of the stories of Ireland and beyond. But he had so many questions, he had been packed up and sent off with a troop of poets to teach him more worldly ways. He was happy to be asking questions, but the poets weren't too happy. He had so many, they eventually packed him off to find the cleverest man in all Ireland. His name was Finnegus, and here he was. He had agreed to help out Finnegus and tend fires, cook for him, clean about the place as the old man would get some rest and help him catch this mysterious salmon of knowledge but it was taking a very long time and young Fionn was very bored but just then the line on the fishing rod went taut he struggled and dug his heels into the ground and he fought as the thing nearly got ripped out of his hands he pulled away from him and pulled it back and pulled away from him even more and then suddenly he gave a great almighty yank of the fishing rod and up out of the water came a beautiful salmon with all the colours of the rainbows on its scales and suddenly he drew it right onto the ground and there it flapped around until it was ready to cook by the fire Finnegas came out laughing and cackling that the salmon of knowledge had finally been caught. He would have all of the wisdom of this world and the next, he thought. He asked Fionn to begin to cook the salmon of knowledge and he lay down to rest, looking forward to his healthy, hearty meal. But as Fionn was cooking the fish, a 
big, ugly blister boiled and bubbled on it. Well, he wasn't very happy about that. So he took his thumb and he burst the big blister. Ow! He burnt his thumb so badly he had to stick it in his mouth. He sucked on his thumb. Now a bit sad that he burnt himself, but he gave the fish to Finnegus. And as Finnegus greedily looked down and began to devour the flesh of the fish, the old man turned a crooked nose up to Fionn and angrily said, There's no wisdom in this fish. You tasted it, didn't you? Fionn was shocked by the thought of it. He hadn't done such a thing. He explained to him that he cooked the fish for him. He had prepared it perfectly for Finnegus. All that had happened was he'd burnt his thumb on the fish and sucked the thumb afterwards, but sure that wasn't the same as eating it. Oh. Cried Finnegus. You tasted the fish, boy. That means all of its wisdom has gone to you. Well, Fionn thought... If it had been him who'd caught all the wisdom on his thumb, he didn't feel very different. So he stuck his thumb in his mouth again. (gasps) And suddenly he knew what he should do. He knew where the Fianna were. The greatest band of warriors Ireland had ever seen were gathering in Tara by the High King of Ireland. And they were going to try and stop the deadly dragon Aulil who breathed fiery breath all over the people of Tara every sow and eve Fionn knew he had to leave he looked at the old man who was still grumbling and muttering about being robbed of all of the wisdom of the salmon of knowledge and backed away very quietly now knowing an adventure was on the horizon for Fionn he marched all the way to Tara three days and three nights went by but he wouldn't stop because he knew after seeing all of the wisdom the salmon of knowledge had given him it had been his own father Cool that had once been the leader of the Fianna. And so, it was Fionn's birthright. It was his duty. It was expected of him to try and claim the leadership of the Fianna himself. He marched up to Tara, and everybody was inside the hall. He peered inside and announced that he would defeat the great dragon Aulil, and he would put a stop to his tyranny and he would be the leader of the Fianna for doing so. The High King of Ireland said, If you can kill the dragon Arlil, then you can be the leader of the Fianna. Nobody else has been able to stay awake long enough to fight him. Fionn marched outside the gates of the hall then, pacing up and down wondering how he'd keep himself awake. The dragon was spreading beautiful music as soon as it opened its wings, making everyone fall asleep. So he'd have to stay awake. So he'd put his thumb in his mouth and he began to suck on it. And then he knew what to do. (gasps) He put a spear in the ground and balanced the sharp pointed edge of it against his forehead and leaned against it. If he fell asleep, he'd hit his head and that would wake him up. Sure enough, The hill of Tara opened wide and a huge monstrous dragon came roaring out of the ground, breathing fire all over the earth. He spread its wings and Aulil played the sound of sleeping music all across the land and everyone fell into a deep slumbering sleep. But not Fionn. He banged his head on the point of his spear, woke right up, picked up the spear, and ran towards the dragon. His wings were spread, spreading music all over the land, letting everyone fall asleep so he could spray fire all over the grounds of Tara. Fionn turned the corner, threw the spear at the great big dragon, and just as it hit his neck, the whole dragon erupted into a huge ball of fire and... Vanished, said Fionn. All of the people woke up then. They came out rubbing their eyes, not sure what had happened. 
but when they saw the scorch mark on the ground, they realized that Fionn had saved the day, broken the curse and defeated the dragon. They lifted him up on his shoulders, shouting that Fionn McCool should be the leader of the Fianna, for he was the best warrior in all of the land. The King of Ireland came and announced, Fionn McCool, as promised, you are now the leader of the Fianna. I'm sure you will do your father proud. And from that moment forward, after burning his thumb on the Salmon of Knowledge, and after defeating the great dragon Oliel, the leader of the Fianna was forever known as Fionn McCool. Wow, I love those pictures. They were brilliant. And all Super. of that animation was made by Gareth Curtis. Nice one, Gareth. Thanks, Gareth. Thank you. <laughs> now. Now, so, a couple of questions about the story. Oh, yeah. Right, so, my first question is, how did that story make you feel, Aaron? I think that made me feel excited yeah. and full of a want for adventure. Yeah, about the same for myself now. Uh, what do you think the message of the story was, Aaron? Message? I think that message is pretty clear that we should all be wanting to go for knowledge and in search for something like adventure and fun. And as long as there's some knowledge there, it's good to look for it. Yeah, cool. Maybe. Good message. What do you think? Good message. What do you do after you hear a good story? Well, there's lots of things you can do after a great story. You could have a dance. You could uh, sing, a song, sing a song, play some music, play some music. or draw a picture. If you like. That's a good one. If that's your thing. Of course, one of the best things to do is go tell someone the story. Tell somebody else. That's the main one, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's the passing best. on the story and that's keeping the story alive. Exactly. That's a good thing to do because they're cool stories. What else can you do? Oh, you can like, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to help us make more of these videos. It means a big difference and we're not going anywhere, so go ahead. Go ahead. Have you done it yet? What's that other thing you can do? What's that other thing you can do? Oh yeah, if you're a big person and you want to support us helping us do more of these videos and content and getting more Irish mythology out there for big and old and young and small, well, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Candlelit Tales for Kids and give us a bit of a support. Yeah, cool. So we can eat and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so that's all good. That's all good. That's all very good. I think that's us today, so is it? No. Our oh, mythical fun thing. fact. What's the mythical fun fact for today? Aaron? Today's mythical fun fact is Fionn McCool is the legendary name that we all know. Mm -hmm. But his name was once called Demna. Demna. Demna means little stag. When he went off to join the Fianna, they called him Fionn because Fionn means fair haired. Bit like you. Bit like me, a bit blonder, a lot blonder, I think. So Fionn meant blonde. Mac means son of, and Cool was just the name of his father. So he's the blonde haired son of a fella called Cool. That's what his name means. It's very literal. <laughs> blonde son of Cool. There you go. There you go. Well, that's us. Okay, Slangafall. Agus Gaurav Magar. You! <laughs>